Hello, I'm Viva. It's almost time for our big dance recital, and I have to go on stage with all these pretty girls. I'm so short and skinny. I'm going to stick out like a total dork. What am I going to do? I love soccer. I don't mean to brag or anything, but I'm really good. And our team, the Cyclones, is one of the best in the state. We won 18 out of 20 games this year. It's like we deserve that championship cup. If only I'd played better. I mean, I blew it. We all blew it. We really let our coach down. Okay, girls, the game's going well. We're way ahead, four to one, second quarter. We've only got half a game to go. Just keep playing as a team. Do your best and help each other. We can win the championship if you want it bad enough. Then Leela, who never gets anything right, screwed up a maneuver we'd practice for days. Coach Lutzi said just to keep trying, but things went from bad to worse. Lakeisha and I were both going for the ball and ran into each other. Lakeisha twisted her ankle and was out of the game. We'd lost our best forward. By the last quarter of the game, we were all feeling the pressure. The game was tied four to four, and things weren't going so well. Why'd you have to do that? I'd still be playing if it weren't for your mistake. Why don't you look out when I'm passing you the ball? You miss every pass. I can't help it. I have a stomach ache.
When I got home, even my little brother Richie, who's usually a brat, was nice to me. It's only a game, dear. There will be other games. I know, Dad. That's what you always say. But it doesn't help. This was our one shot at the championship. Sweetie, you had a great season. And most of your teammates will be back next year. You'll have another chance to prove how good you are. I know, Mom, but it doesn't help how I feel right now. We wanted the championship this year. Come here, honey. Let me give you a hug. Thanks, Dad. But I don't feel like a hug. A tale of unity. Obena, Kesi, and Nini walked far from their village in search of firewood. Usually, they sang and played games. But today, the girls were silent and worked slowly. They had been arguing for days. The sun grew hotter and hotter. Finally, their grandmother said they had gathered enough wood. They sat down in the shade of a great boabob tree. Their grandmother cracked a collar nut between her teeth and said thoughtfully, My girls, I am saddened to see you argue like this. Our small village has prospered because our families have always worked together. I fear for you, my grandchildren. If you cannot get along, our millet fields will die and our village will crumble. Ebena, hand me that bundle of twigs. I want you each, in turn, to try to break this bundle. Each girl tried to break the bundle of twigs but found they could not even bend them. This is a lesson of unity, said the grandmother. If you remain bound together in peace and common purpose, you will remain strong. Nini, untie the twigs. Now, each of you take one twig and break it. The girls found the twigs snapped easily. 
this is a lesson of disunity. If you do not work together, you will be weak and easily broken. Many generations before you have lived in unity. Soon, it will be up to you to care for our village. The girls always remember the words of their wise grandmother and worked together. The village remained happy and healthy, and to this day, the young children still play in the shade of the great Boabob tree. You know, Coach Letsu was right. We would play better if we stuck together, instead of fighting when the pressure is on. Maybe next year we could even make it to the Nationals. Watch out, USA. The Cyclones will be back better than ever. Yeah. <laughs>